नमस्कार सूचना जानकारी र मनोरंजन को त्रिवेणी विविधता बीच एकता इंडिजिनस टेलीविजन र आईटीवी नेपाल को समाचार मूलक कार्यक्रम इंडिजिनस वॉइस मा तपाईंलाई स्वागत छ साथमा छु म डोल्मा शेर्पा स्वतन्त्र सामाजिक सञ्चार संस्था इंडिजिनस मिडिया फाउन्डेसनले उत्पादन गरेको यो समाचार मूलक प्रस्तुति इंडिजिनस वॉइस कार्यक्रम हो यस कार्यक्रम मार्फत केही विशेषणात्मक समसामयिक सामाजिक सन्दर्भ र ताजा जानकारीहरु प्रस्तुत गर्दै आएका छौ यस क्रममा आजको कार्यक्रममा आदिवासीको अधिकार सम्बन्धी संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघका विशेष समाधिक्षक होसे फ्रान्सिस्को कालिज्जे नेपालको अनौपचारिक भ्रमणमा विभिन्न कार्यक्रममा सहभागी भएर आज अमेरिका प्रस्थान जलविद्युत र राष्ट्रिय निकुञ्जहरुबाट मानव अधिकार गम्भीर उल्लंघन भएको नेपालका आदिवासी जनजातिका प्रतिनिधिहरुको दाबी विश्वभरि नै त्यस्तै रहेको होसे फ्रान्सिसको स्पष्टीकरण आदिवासीको मानव अधिकार उल्लंघनको घटना अन्तर्राष्ट्रिय मञ्चमा उठान एशिया इन्डिजिनस पीपल्स प्याक्टका महासचिव ग्याम सिमरेको सुझाव संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघमा नेपालको उजुरी एक नम्बर प्रदेशमा जारी रहेको पहिचानको आन्दोलन प्रति अल्पसंख्यक याखा समुदायको गुनासो याखा विशेष संरक्षित र स्वायत्त क्षेत्र प्रति पहिचानको आन्दोलनको नेतृत्व गरिरहेको घटकले व्यवस्था गरेको आरोप संविधान सभाका अध्यक्ष दिवंगत नेता सुभाष चन्द्र नेमाङको सुद्यायी कार्य लिम्बु परम्पराबाट गरियो शुभेच्छुकहरुबाट समावेदना दिने कार्य जारी लगायतका समाचार तथा विशेषणात्मक सामग्री प्रस्तुत गर्ने छौ कार्यक्रम सुरु गरौ संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघीय विशेष समाधिक्षक फोसे फ्रान्सिस्को कालिज्जेको नेपाल भ्रमण सम्बन्धी यो समाचारबाट आदिवासीको अधिकार सम्बन्धी संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघीय विशेष समाधिक्षक फोसे फ्रान्सिस्को कालिज्जे नेपाल भ्रमण गरी आइतबार स्वदेश फर्किनु भएको छ आदिवासी जनजाति विरुद्ध हुने विभेद र समस्याको अनौपचारिक अध्ययन गर्न नेपाल आइपुग्नु भएका विशेष समाधिक्षकले नेपालका आदिवासीहरूका प्रतिनिधिमूलक संस्थाहरूसँग संवाद तथा अन्तर्क्रिया गर्नु भएको छ वहाँले पहिचानका लागि आन्दोलन भइरहेको एक नम्बर प्रदेशको भ्रमण गरी आन्दोलनरत स्थानीय अगुवासँग पनि संवाद गर्नु भएको छ। राजधानी काठमाडौँमा रहँदा आदिवासी जनजातिहरूका संघ संस्था र त्रिभुवन विश्वविद्यालय मानव शास्त्र विभागले आयोजना गरेको आदिवासी र विकास सम्बन्धी अन्तर्क्रिया कार्यक्रममा सहभागी हुनु भएको थियो। संवादका क्रममा आदिवासीहरूको मानव अधिकारको उल्लंघनका घटनामा चासोका साथ उहाँले प्रश्नहरू सोध्नु भएको थियो। भ्रमणका क्रममा सरकारी अधिकारीहरूसँग भने उहाँले भेट गर्नु भएन। वहाँले पटक पटक आफ्नो भ्रमण अनौपचारिक र एकेडेमिक भएको हुँदा संवादमा व्यक्त विचार र धारणाहरू राष्ट्रसंघीय प्रतिवेदनमा आउन नसक्ने बताउनु भएको थियो इट्स नट अफिसियल भिजिट दिस इज एकेडेमिक भिजिट दैट मीन्स दैट नन अफ द इन्फर्मेसन दैट यू आर गोइंग टु गिव टु अस आई एम गोइंग टु मेक अ रिपोर्ट बट इट्स भेरी इम्पोर्टेन्ट ऑल द इन्फर्मेसन दैट यू आर गोइंग टु शेयर विथ अस because that is going to serve to us for background information of Nepal. So I do this the acclaration because I don't want you to believe that I'm going to write a report. Yes. Indigenous boys. Adivasiko Adikar Sammandi Samukta Rashtra Sange Bises Samad Dhikshak Jose Francisco कालिज्जेले नेपालमा आदिवासीको मानव अधिकार उल्लंघनका घटनामा नेपालबाट उजुरी आएको बताउनु भयो त्रिभुवन विश्वविद्यालय समाजशास्त्र मानव शास्त्र विभागले गत साथ आयोजना गरेको सेमिनारलाई विशेष सम्बोधन गर्नुहुँदै यो जानकारी दिनु भएको हो सम्बोधनका क्रममा विशेष समाधिक्षक होसे फ्रान्सिस्कोले इन्भेस्टमेन्ट बैंकको लगानीमा सञ्चालित मर्स्याङ्दी करिडोर ट्रान्समिसन लाइन परियोजनाबाट त्यहाँका आदिवासीको अधिकार हनन गरेको सूचना संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघ मानव अधिकार उच्च आयोगमा प्राप्त भएको बताउनु हुँदै नेपाल पक्ष राष्ट्र बनेका अन्तर्राष्ट्रिय महासन्धिहरूले सुनिश्चित गरेका अधिकारहरू कार्यान्वयन हुने विश्वास व्यक्त गर्नु भएको थियो सो टुडे आई विल अफर यु अ ब्रीफ ओभरभ्यू अफ द इन्टरनेशनल ह्युमन राइट स्ट्यान्डर्ड्स अङ इन्डिजिनस पीपल्स इन रिलेसन टु सम च्यालेन्जेस इन्डिजिनस पीपल्स फेस वर्ल्ड वाइड that I am sure my brothers and sisters here in Nepal can relate it to. As I always start my presentation, let me remind uh, all of us that at the international level, we have a very broad legal framework for effectively protecting indigenous peoples. First, indigenous peoples are always protected by international human rights law, but due to their special status, 
they also enjoy a specific set of human rights. This is special human rights system for indigenous peoples that codified indigenous peoples' individual and collective rights is established in several instruments, as such ILO Convention 169 and the UN Declaration on the Right of Indigenous Peoples. Today, the UN Declaration constitutes the minimum standard for indigenous peoples' right and state must respect and implement. As you know, Nepal ratified ILO Convention 169 on 14 of September 2007, and Nepal voted in favor of the adoption of the United Nations Declaration on the Right of Indigenous People the 13th of September of the same year. Today, I would like to look at some of these international human rights standards in relation to the following challenges that indigenous people face worldwide. First, recognition of indigenous people's right in the domestic legal system. Second, development of mega, of mega projects in their ancestral territories. Third, impact of uh, climate change adaptation measures in, indigen in indigenous territories. Fourth, multiple discrimination and violence against indigenous women and girls. And five, I, and I would like to conclude with a positive note reflecting on indigenous resilience and environmental stewardship. वहाँ संबोधन का क्रम में आदिवासी को थाथलो में विस निर्माण कर आदिवासी जनजाति को मानवाधिकार चरम उल्लंघन भैया विश्व को अनुभवर भी सुना थी वहां आदिवासी को मानवाधिकार उल्लंघन का घटना में मुद्दा को सुनवाई करी संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघ को महासभा व मानवाधिकार परिषद बुझाई को प्रतिवेदन बारे जानकारी दूंहद संबोधनक क्रम में आदिवासी को अधिकार संबंधी सामाध्यक्ष को कार्यक्षेत्र रधिकार क्षेत्र को बारे में बोलने होसे फ्रांसिस्को कालिज्जे गोटेमाला का मायन काचिकिल आदिवासी का प्रतिनिधि हो सन् दुई हजार बीस मार्च में संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघ को आदिवासी जनजाति को विशेष सामाध्यक्ष में नियुक्त हो सन् उन्नाइस सौ अस्सी को दशकदि संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघ र अंतरराष्ट्रीय मंच में आदिवासी को सवाल रधिकार प्रवर्धन में संलग्न होसे सोलह वर्ष सब खा जाति विभेद उन्मूलन समिति में अध्यक्ष को जिम्मेवारी संभाल त्रिभुवन विश्वविद्यालय समाजशास्त्र मानवशास्त्र विभाग ने आयोजना सेमिनार में एशिया का आदिवासी को छाता संगठन एशिया इंडिजिनियस पीपुल्स पैक्ट एआईपीपी का महासचिव ग्याम सिम्रे उपस्थित हो सवसर में ग्याम ने लगायत एशिया का विभिन्न मूलुक में विस आयोजना का नाम में सरकार र निजी लगानीकर्ता आदिवासी को भूमि रोत साधन को दोहन उल्लेख कर वहां कार्यक्रम में संबोधन करते संयुक्त राष्ट्र संघ को आदिवासी जनजाति को विशेष सामाध्यक्ष होसे फ्रांसिस्को कालिज्जे यो विषय अंतरराष्ट्रीय मंच में विशेष रूप में उठान करना आग्रह कर Now the degree varies across the region. That is, the degree of the rights and the control they have over the piece of land or territory. That means, possibly only 1.8 percent will be excluded. कार्यक्रम में नेपाल का आदिवासी को मानवाधिकार संबंधी वकील समूह लावरनिप का उपाध्यक्ष अधिवक्ता शंकर लिंबू ने संविधान एन कानून र नियमावली में आदिवासी जनजाति को अधिकार को बारे में उल्लेख करिए तपनि व्यवहार में सरकार ने कार्यान्वयन नगर को बताने भेन वी डू दोर्ट प्क्टिस वी अलवेज रिलाय ऑन द कंस्टिट्यूशन वी अलवेज रिलाय ऑन द लॉज एंड देन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द डिवेलपमेंट द गवर्नमेंट क्लेम्स दैट वी आर एक्टिंग in accordance with the constitution and existing laws well when these constitutions and laws are implemented in the name of the development we looked in the reality we see a totally different pictures that i'm going to talk about it why there is a difference in principles 
why there is a difference between the legal provisions and the practice. So, when we talk about the development, if you read about the constitutional provisions, you can see our constitution talks about the inclusive development. This sounds really not only interesting, but it sounds meaningful. And also talks about, this morning we heard about the GAM was talking the environmental justice perspective from the perspective of indigenous peoples. It says about the balance development and also environmental friendly development. And it also talks about the sustainable physical in infrastructure. When you see in a social media and uh, in the media not out of Kathmandu Valley in the capital city. The newly inaugurated bridge collapsed the very next day. I don't know what kinds of sustainable infrastructure development we are talking about. For the development, it talks about the enhanced local public participation process of development. And we do have a provision about the indigenous peoples in the constitutions. Though I have a serious reservation with this constitution as a student of the constitution law and the advocates of indigenous peoples and local peoples' rights and freedoms. It says that to ensure the right to live with the dignity along with the identity because we've been talking about the identity when we about the indigenous peoples it says that the indigenous nationalities and indigenous peoples will be included in the decision making that concerns to them it also talks about the identity talks about the rights and it also talks about the rights to participate in the decision making and when we talk about the development, obviously, the development requires using the natural resources. And the Constitution says that natural resources in sustainable and environment-friendly manner, we have to use it. And it also talks about the distribution of development fruits, how we uh, distribute in equitable manner. And it also talks about the giving preference to the local communities. Often the government term indigenous peoples as a local people, though we have, and that is fundamental in the, the, the mistaken, mistakes from the government side or the policy makers, indigenous peoples are not the local people. So these are all good things we see in the constitution, but what is the problem? The problem, this is a directive principle. The directive principle means it's an aspirational doctrine. So there is no need to comply. If these provisions are violated, then you cannot take any case or adjudication in the court. That is the fundamental problem. So that's why in the name of development, when we see a lot of people are evicted from their home, from their settlement, and they turn into a refugee, not far away. I'm talking about here in Kathmandu, in Balazu. These indigenous peoples, they have been living generation to generation. If you ask them, when you came here, they cannot remember about it. If you go right now, there are houses that was built a hundred years ago, it was bulldozed and no more people are there. That's the reality of the capital. So what is the use of the constitutional provisions and what is the use of judiciary or the court? 
The problem earlier Dr. Butterton Sark rightly said about it, some jurisprudential aspect, the eminent domain, in the name of the public interest, the whatever the rights in guaranteed in the Constitution as a fundamental right, or whatever the human rights instrument that is ratified by Nepal. But when it comes to the right to property, when it comes to the right to land, right to resources, the government can acquire or government can evict the people in the name of public interest. So there are lots of, there are rampant force evictions. As I said that the Article 25 of the Constitution talks about the right to property. And also the Article 37 talks about right to housing. But at the same time, five years ago, the government introduced a law to guarantee right to housing that says that government has a, I mean, obligation to provide houses those, uh, to people who don't have a house. But at the same time, that law says that in the name of the development, people can be evicted from their house. So that's the another challenge. The challenge is what is written in the Constitution and when the government or when the parliament enact the law, it reveals the Constitution. In the university, in the law university, we are taught that Constitution is a supreme law, a fundamental law. Any provisions inconsistent with the Constitution that deems no law, but that's opposite. When we talk about the development, indigenous peoples and rights are invisible. There are 13 laws and subsequent regulations in practice that governs the whole development that government says that we act or the non-government entities like private company, they say that we are acting in accordance with existing laws. But if you looked about these laws, and in, even in a hydro project, there are three laws and subsequent regulations are there. If we talk about the conservation, five laws and 15 regulations. But when we talk about the conservation, there is a limited access, a space for a few indigenous peoples or local communities who have traditionally fishing practices. They're allowed by, uh, I mean, they have to get the license, but the license, it's not 100% sure that you get the license, everyone can get the license, or if you get the license, it cannot be renewed. So, as I said that if you looked about these laws, the indigenous peoples and their rights are invisible, so that's the challenge. And when we talk about the development policy, we see the conflicting provisions within the policy. Look at, for an example, the 15th periodic planning, which is ongoing right now. In the one hand, it says that by 2080, means this year, there will be the transmission line 45,352 kilometers. The government will construct the transmission line. And the road, by this year, there will be 13,448. That's the data. So there will be more transmission line than the road. And I, I, I remember that this morning that we, and, um, we were listening to the victim of transmission line in, in uh, Dunkibash. The old, 80 years old person came to talk with us. And he is facing, because of the development aggression, because of the time to time, the police, the security forces, armed forces, even the military attacked him and the village and the community. So he is now under the treatment 
फर द मेन्टल डिजिज वहां ने सरकार पक्ष राष्ट्र बने महासन्धि में उल्लेखित अधिकार कार्यान्वयन कर सरकार सुझाव दिन आग्रह कर तेगरी आदिवासी विज्ञ समाजशास्त्री डाक्टर कृष्णबहादुर भट्टाचन ने सरकार ने सड़क विस्तार राष्ट्रीय निकुंज द्रुत मार्ग लगायत राष्ट्रीय गौरव को आयोजना का नाम में आदिवासी जनजाति भूमि रोत साधन को दोहन भैर टिप्पणी कर इंडिजिनियस पीपल्स एंड डेवलपमेंट इश्यूज डेफिनेटली वी नीड टू थिंक अबाउट डी कलोनाइजेशन डी ब्राह्मणाइजेशन डी पेट्रियाकलाइजेशन इफ यू फॉलो द शूट एंड देन इंडिजेनिज्म इंडिजेनिज्म एंड दिज ऑल थिंग्स ऑक्युपाई आवर माइंड्स एंड हर्ड्स नॉट ओनली ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स बट सेकेंड्स आफ्टर सेकेंड्स वाट we think and what we say is that if there is no custodianship or guardianship of ancestral lands territories and resources and also customary self governing institutions there is no self determination if there is no self determination there is no collective way of life of indigenous peoples and there is no indigenous peoples so no self determination then there is no development so for we indigenous peoples indigenous women and girls indigenous men and boys indigenous person with disability indigenous multi spirited person or lgbt iq a plus 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 of nepal self determination along with non discrimination but i would i like here self determination uh in intergenerational transfer of collective way of life including collective custodianship of ancestral lands territories and resources biodiversity indigenous jurisprudence uh, customary laws customary self governing institutions indigenous knowledge indigenous languages indigenous feminism and free prior and informed consent and also well being of both living and non living things has been not only a principle or a theory i am referring to the self determination <laughs> this is the self determination not only a principle a theory a philosophy but primarily it is a substantive practice in everyday life every moment actually we indigenous peoples are like fish and self determination is like water for us so hence self determination is a mantra or a lifeline of all indigenous peoples of nepal or elsewhere in the world we indigenous peoples of nepal 59 officially recognized and few more yet to be formally recognized were fully sovereign nation state and government before the colonization uh, by the racist boundbadis uh, colonizers or the khas are uh, according to the racist uh, brahmanist constitution of nepal of 2015 so poet vikram subba he belongs to uh, the yakthung or limbu indigenous peoples he has actually said probably this is the shortest or briefest poem Uh, written in nepali uile uile chor haru shasan gardai na the long long time ago thieves didn't rule and implying that long long time ago we had self determination so we are not thieves we are the custodians of our land steady tourism and resources and he didn't say it Uh, so we have to read under the line above the line left of the line uh, under the i mean in between the line and uh, we can interpret that nowadays only the thieves rules so whoever is the prime minister whoever is the president whoever is the i mean cabinet members whoever are the i mean legislator judiciary uh, uh, or executive or uh, even media mass media fourth state everywhere we see thieves only nothing more nothing less 
सो दे हेव थेप आवर सेल्फ डिटर्मिनेसन बाय इम्पोजिंग रूल अफ ल देयर ओन रूल अफ ल कोर्ट एंड कोर्ट रूल अफ ल कोर्ट एंड कोर्ट कन्स्टिट्यूशनलिज्म कोर्ट एंड कोर्ट ल एंड अर्डर कोर्ट एंड कोर्ट सोशल हारमोनी कोर्ट एंड कोर्ट नेशनल यूनिटी कोर्ट एंड कोर्ट नेशनलिज्म एंड कोर्ट एंड कोर्ट प्लान डिवेलपमेंट नाउ दे हेव बीन दे हेव बीन थ्रेस पासिंग थ्रेस पासिंग आवर टेरिटोरीज टेरिटोरीज थ्रेस पासिंग टेरिटोरीज अब आवर डिग्निटी एक्जिस्टेंस डिस्टिंगटिव कलेक्टिव वे अफ लाइफ and custodianship of our ancestral lands by inventing and misusing the theory of terranalius the theory of regalian doctrine and the theory of eminent domain be it colonization militarization globalization liberalization and neo liberalization or be it capitalism democratic socialism marxism leninism maoism and in terms of development theories namely modernization and dependency theories and more recently basic needs theory or post modern theory or sub altern theory or post development theory or sustainable development theory or even human development theory all are nothing but predatory to all indigenous peoples of nepal so human is also i have said the first ever human development report i suggested them to correct it as the first Nepal inhuman development report because it's too inhuman to all indigenous people and those were written by five brahmins all living in the same area actually baneswar purana baneswar uh so in our country the term development itself is a colonial production and reproduction for colonial consumption and also for brahmins production and for brahmins consumption so modernization theory with its variance pattern variable index method or gap approach growth approach and psychological approach that puts the uh, i mean uh, uh, in the west whites but here in nepal brahmin chhatris or the khas are as superior and others as inferior so it's a synthesis of evolutionary and diffusion theories world system theory looks nice or dependency theory looks nice including center periphery or metropolis satellite development or under development the new dependency or technological and industrial dependence dependent development and dependency and imperialism all are revival of marxism and leninism in a development context these all are predatory to indigenous peoples furthermore be top down or trickle down trickle down is trick all down that the word itself speaks volume about it trickle down theory of development or fortress model of conservation gam eluded earlier and then unimodal or bimodal theory of agric agriculture here planners and others don't talk about it i don't know whether they know uh, they use this term consciously as not but they have been using it in practice right whether it's unimodal or bimodal theories of agriculture development human development theory sustainable development theory all are against our sovereignty our dignity our ancestral lands territories and resources our customary laws our self governing institutions and our very existence so even sdg uh, goals of united nations development i have been telling it uh, it's not sustainable development goals it is suspicious development goals for indigenous people because indigenous peoples are simply not there we understand that rights based quote on quote rights based development or approach is necessary but not sufficient for us as many human rights organizations and human rights defenders in nepal they defend individual rights as human rights but they think that indigenous peoples collective rights are not human rights this is the problem here in nepal i don't know in other parts so just saying right based is not enough so we therefore believe that rice based development should be weighted weighted with self determined development our concept of self de self determined development are deeply rooted in our core values such as full respect for mother earth cosmovision interconnectedness and interdependence of everything 
collective participation and collective decision making, common well-being, intergenerational transfer, and solidarity. On the contrary, the concept of development envisaged by colonizers, racists, Brahmanes, patriarchs is a greed for money or personal comfort and the destruction of Mother Earth and nature and environment and of both living and non-living beings, including humans. So there is a prediction that maybe after a thousand years, we'll not, no one will be here as human beings, right? So we may ask, we may ask million dollar questions. Uh, uh, we may ask millions of indigenous survivors and family members of victims of development aggression manifested in the forms of nationalization of forest. Since 1956, establishment of protected areas including national parks, wildlife conservation, wildlife hunting reserve, conservation areas and community forests since the 70s, construction of hydropower projects and high voltage electricity transmission lines since the 80s, and rapid expansion of roads, highways, airports, cable cars, smart city, tourism center, administrative centers, and military camps since the 90s without obtaining free prior and informed consent from concerned indigenous peoples. So is it development or destruction? That is the key question. Probably uh, uh, UN Special Rapporteur, you will uh, hear from the horse's mouth in the days to come. And you will be reading reports Volumes, volumes of report in the days to come. Uh, so, uh, now we have question. Uh, actually, in Nepal, we are witnessing a resurgence of self determined development in recent months. Uh, recent indigenous peoples' movements are Tharu, Yakton Limbu, Khambu Rai, Newa, and Tamang, and many more indigenous peoples or Maji are its indicators. Uh, and I don't want to get into detail because of time. So, uh, violation, interference, denial, abuse, non-compliance, or ignorance of indigenous people's human rights is continuing unabated. It must stop now. वहाँले नेपाल का आदिवासी हरू विकास मा अपनो प्राथमिकता निर्धारण गर्ना पाउने हक बैठे बन्चित भाई को बताऊं दे नेपाल का विकास निर्माण का नाम मा संचालित सभी आयोजना हरू स्वतंत्र पूर्व जानकारी सहित को मंजूरी एफिक बेगरने संचालन मा आए को विशेष समाधिक्षक ले जानकारी गराउनु भाई को थियो।